Well, hello, YouTubers and amateur astronomers everywhere. Um, a while back, I posted a video about how I was making these uh, these lightweight web back blanks that are already pre-slumped to a radius of curvature. The video quite well received, very popular. Get lots of comments, lots of requests, lots of people wanting to buy my blanks, and I have sold a few. Uh, but I've been kind of remiss in keeping you updated on exactly what I'm doing because this blank right here, this is old news. Okay, I have moved on to other designs. And I'll show you what I've been up to here. Yeah, the designs have changed quite a bit. I've gone from uh, this sort of grid pattern to a sort of latitude, longitude, you know, crisscrossed, uh, circular, radial pattern. And I think that's going to work a little better. I think it's going to give the, the blanks, you know, more than adequate support while lightening the weight even a little bit more. Plus, I've started molding in support points for uh, the blanks so that they can just be a drop-in replacement for an existing heavy full thickness blank. Um, and they'll sit right on uh, an ordinary mirror mirror cell. Uh, something like this, you would need some sort of special mirror cell. And I actually designed a mirror cell to work with these blanks. But then I thought, well, why should people have to have a special mirror cell? Why can't they just put these blanks in a regular mirror cell that already exists? So I got to molding in uh, the support points for the... Uh, for supporting the weight of the mirror, and you can see them back here in the uh, in the 3D printed uh, patterns that I use for um, making the the plaster patterns for the glass. I'll pour pass pour plaster around these, and then burn the plastic out, and then I'll have a negative, which I can cast the glass on to get a positive. This is nice. I like this. This is a really great design. A lot of people like it. They think it's fantastic. I get a lot of requests from people. They want to buy one of these. I can't make these very quickly, folks. This takes a lot of time. And right now I'm kind of dead in the water because I have no power in my workshop. I can't run my kiln, so I can't make any more blanks right now. Um, I was drawing power from another building on the farm. That building's getting torn down and we're going to build another building. And until the other building's built, I don't have power for my kilns. I'm running everything just off an extension cord and I can't run 50 amp kilns through an extension cord, unfortunately. Not, not 250 feet of it, anyway. So, uh, gonna be a little while before I'm in the blank making business, but it's giving me time to work on other things. Um, the whole process of 3D printing, you know, the, the pattern, um, pouring the plaster around it, burning out the plastic, and then making a mold for out of the, around the plaster. That's it's very, very very laborious. And the plaster after it's burned out is very fragile. And I've broken a few molds that way, and I have to start over again. So I was looking for easier and better ways to do it. So I'm taking my time where I can't actually run the kilns to work on R and D. And what I came up with is this. This is a rubber mold. This is what I want the, this is a negative of what I want the plaster to look like. So I could just pour the plaster in here. After it hardens, peel this right off and I've got a plaster mold. There's no burning out necessary. Um, it's just ready to go. And then I could make another one and another one and another. I could do this probably four or five times a day. I could make molds. This is a 12 inch right here. And uh, so that's going to make life a little bit easier once I start making molds this way. So, and I plan on doing this for all the sizes, so I'll have a, have a master rubber mold for all the sizes of blanks. And I'm scaling up to, um, I think I said in the last video that I was going to change the design for 14 and up, but I don't think I'm going to change it as radically as I was planning. So here's a design for 14 over here. And the only real change I've made is I've got six support points in instead of uh, three. And I think that's going to work for 14. Now for 16, 18 and on up, what I'm thinking about doing is going ahead and molding in 18 support points. So it would drop right into, um, you know, an 18 point flotation cell. 
and sit on those support points without any problem. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. Um, you know, anybody has any, any ideas or suggestions about where I should go with this, feel free to leave me comments or send me emails. You can find my email at my blog. Uh, it's up at the top of the top page and other places on the blog. Um, you can email me. And uh, just, just don't hit me with too many requests to buy blanks right now because I just can't make them right now. Basically what you're seeing here is all I've got that's made right now. And these two here still need to be edged. I haven't got around to edging them yet, so they're irregular on the edge. They need to be edged and beveled. I'll get around to that eventually. But uh, sooner or later, I will be back in the blank making business. And it should go a little quicker and easier once I've got these rubber molds for all the different sizes of blanks. So um, while I've got downtime, I'm going to work on making more rubber molds for different sizes of blanks and uh, work on my design for 16 inch and up blanks and uh, hopefully we won't take forever to get power back to my workshop here and I can get the kilns cooking again turning out some uh, some new blanks because uh, everybody who sees these just loves them and basically wants one and uh, it's a shame I can't really uh, supply the market right now anyway Thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, give it a thumbs up if so. Give it a like. Um, subscribe to see future videos. I'll put out more videos in the future showing you more updates on what I'm doing uh, when I come out with the new uh, bigger mirror designs. If I modify these designs, because I'm always tempted to tinker and modify them. There will be more videos coming out, so subscribe and push the little bell icon that YouTube makes you press so you get notified when new videos come out. And thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one. Clear skies. Bye.